good to good, okay? Hope you guys are doing wonderful. Had to start the car before we left. It's starting to get that cold. There actually is a weather advisory going on right now that it could potentially get down to the old freeze level and to potentially cover your plants. No! Every year, every year, same old story, right? We're like, yeah, it's coming, but is it though? It's definitely coming. Grass is coming in great though. It still looks real summery over here. Easy, exciting, fun day. Sometimes I wish that it wasn't so crazy and exciting and sometimes more mellow, I'm not gonna lie. We have a, we have a fun day planned. Um, busy inside, working on a bunch of things. School, school set up. Um, I've actually got a pretty fun video planned for that coming down the pike. Some neat opportunities that I was presented with, so I'm pretty excited about that. And working on all things Alaskan apparel, fun things coming down the pike with that. And then my babe out to Dead Horse, Alaska this morning. He is, or actually this afternoon, he is headed to Prudhoe Bay. It has been a hot minute since he's actually had to gone out of town, um, especially to Prudhoe Bay. Work that he's got to do, he's going to show you around that town, kind of an interesting town, the oil, oil fields of Alaska, kind of show you maybe what it's like to live there, what amenities are there. They have a fun sticker wall that I told him he should go check out. Maybe leave a little, little Summers in Alaska sticker. So that will be fun. World over here at the old homestead, I'm trying to get this mower off the lawn, is today is Evelyn's pre-team tryout. I can't believe it. Holy moly, she is so excited. She says, I asked her, I said, are you nervous at all? She's like, kind of in between. So she's kind of nervous, but also really excited like to be able to, to do it, to have the opportunity to do it. So wish her luck. I think she's gonna do great. But yeah, so that's what we got on the old agenda today. Let's actually check in on Bert, seeing how he's doing, flying across the good old state to Dead Horse, Alaska, and all the, I'm sure, craziness that he's gonna, that he's gonna show you. So we're gonna head into town and we'll check in on Bert, seeing how he's doing. Hello, happy peoples. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Today, I am in Dead Horse, Alaska, otherwise known as Prudhoe Bay, Alaska, otherwise known as kind of the start of the uh, North Slope or the oil fields, up almost toward the very top here in Alaska. In fact, there's a good chance that when you guys fill up your car at the gas station, that that oil that was used to make that gas came from way up here. Pretty cool, I just have a little job here to do. It should take me more than maybe a couple days or so to get it knocked out, but I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a tour while I'm here, show you what life is like here. Things are definitely different here than I can think of in, in probably, probably any part of the world. I don't even know how to really describe what life is like here, but I'll try to lay it all out. 
as best I can, but appreciate you guys coming along. First thing, I guess, first of all, I am here in the, the warmer time of the year. It's like 40 or so degrees outside. In the winter time, guys, this is some of the coldest areas of Alaska that you could possibly visit because there's wind. I mean, technically, I think we get colder where we are in the center of the state, but by the time you tie the wind show in, um, I've heard stories of somewhere around negative 80. I think the record was like 100 at negative 100. It just doesn't even make sense. I don't know if that's even accurate, but I can say I've been out in some, they've got different phase storms uh, about 20 years ago. Gosh, I'm dating myself. I was here as an apprentice and I, I served like a, an eight week stint and I remember getting caught out in a phase three storm and I think it was maybe, it was somewhere between 60 and 70 below zero. Uh, with the wind chill and we were caught out in it and we had a caravan and there was a motor out in front of us because you couldn't see and anyway, it's <laughs> This is the extreme part of Alaska that it's, it's just intense guys not for the week of heart to work here You can make a lot of money working here. Um, I had some fun talking to an electrician that happened to sit next to me on the plane So we we're kind of swapping stories and I was trying to get some information about like what's changed here uh, over the last uh, several years, because I think it's been six years since I've been here. Camp life, all these things, I'll fill you in a little bit, but first of all, let's go get something to eat. Uh, something that's interesting here uh, is, well, first of all, there's no houses, camps. Uh, this room I'm in right here is, uh, I think, more of a deluxe room because it actually has a shared bathroom, which is pretty crazy. You can go in there and you can lock it so the other person can't use it. And this is only a single occupancy bed. So this is kind of the, this is the quick tour of the entire room. Uh, but I'm used to staying at places where there's two beds and then they'll, sometimes you'll have a, um, a night worker and a day worker, or they call them uh, day sleepers if you, if you are a night worker. And so sometimes they'll alternate, but I think with COVID they might be changing some of that. But I kind of lucked out on this trip in sort of a luxury room that has like not shared occupancy, but we do have a shared bathroom. So that's pretty cool. Let's get something to eat. Um, and then I'll show you guys around a little bit. Before that, let me go ahead and send you back home, go check on the family and see how they're doing. They're gonna tell us tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Did you feel like you did good? Yeah, I felt like I was gonna vomit <laughs> at at first, but for the last, but for the past thirty minutes, I felt a little better. Good job, baby. Thanks. Daddy's proud of you. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. Okay, I'll let you go. I need to check into the hotel. Okay. okay bye. bye. Great team tryout in the bag. We're not gonna know till tomorrow, guys. Oh, oh man. We're gonna go get some food. We're gonna go home, do all the things. did for Evelyn Page. So I got you something. You did? Mm -hmm. 
for a preteen tryout. Now, I know we don't know if you made it yet, but I thought I'd give it to you anyway, because I think you're going to make it. Yeah. What is it? Can you read it? Uh, a kip bar? A kip bar. Oh my yeah. god! I don't know Thank if we... You. You're welcome. I don't know if I could uh, assemble it. I can. You think you can assemble it? I, I assemble a lot of things. Okay. <laughs> so you want to bring it inside and look at it? Yeah. Okay. And it's my favorite color. How do you know? It says teal. It does say teal. <laughs> You're like, you know. Oh yeah, I did. I forgot it said teal. <laughs> All right, let's take it. The chairs are on the table. Floor has been swept. It's closing time and I'm a little tired. It's a long time since I slept. The things I'm moving for. I'm ready to move on. Right, food is great. Pretty good here. I'm told it can get a little bit old if you've just eaten it over and over and over again. But it kind of has to be good here because it's literally the only form of comfort. But like I said, when you're here, uh, there's no housing here, guys. It's not like you can just go to the house and go drive to your friend's house. You, you're here in like these man camps. This is this is basically what you have. This is what you live in, and they're all a little bit a little bit different, but very similar. They're all temporary units, like they're ATCO units. This whole thing up here is designed to be able to be broken down and removed. Everything is considered temporary, so that is like the whole structure up here um, and when you're out driving around and you're out looking at you know what does the city life have to offer it's a whole bunch of just like I said ATCO units temporary buildings construction sites uh, heavy equipment and it's just literally what what you have here this is when you come here you don't really come here to go hang out have fun you come here to work and you come here to make money and that is pretty much the only reason that you come here. There's different work schedules that they'll work. A lot of times it'll be like a two on and two off. Sometimes like a three on and three off. It can be a little bit hard on uh, your family life. Yeah, the schedule can take a lot to get used to here, guys, because you're working 12 hours a day. Most of the time at 712 is what you work. Like a two on, two off, and then you have an alternate that'll swap on for you. Sometimes you'll work nights, sometimes days but it can get a little bit tiring. And, but on a 12 hour day is pretty good because it still gives you just enough time to be able to get, of course, your meals in and you can get um, like a lot of the laundry done. If you need to do the laundry, if you can do some personal stuff, you can make some phone calls before you have to go to bed and do it all again the next day. All right, the interesting thing about this place is you know we have state laws, of course, and federal laws that apply, but this place is basically just one huge work site. So what happens is, is they can have extra requirements uh, depending on what you company you work for. For example, if you bring alcohol here, uh, in most companies they will instantly terminate you. Same thing with any kind of a, you know, recreational drugs of any kind. You're done. You try to bring a firearm here, not gonna happen. Wildlife, like if you, if they're like a fox is crossing the road, for example, you cannot interfere with that fox. You stop. The animals have the right of way. And that is just the standard policy here. You do not mess with the animals or the wildlife. Take that very serious. Also, any kind of spill prevention, they take super serious. If you drop a drop of oil from your pickup truck on the ground, they, you have to fill out this form and they have to have spill people go out there. So they're very, very cautious of the environment here, which I appreciate as being Alaskan. I do appreciate that. To be honest, I don't know how they get anything done because they're very safety conscious. And they're like, there's so many rules here, like those things. You, know, you gotta fill out these forms before you start work for the day, like your job hazard safety analysis, for JHAs, and they're called um, before you even start work. So, super safety conscious, concerned about uh, the environment, and also animals. Don't mess with the animals. Get here is what 
uh, they provide in the camp. So what they do have though, if you're on an off schedule and you're not at the normal meal time, these are called spike rooms. And you can just come in there and grab sandwiches, you can grab some fruit, you can grab some chips, you have coffee, pastries, something that'll hold you over between meals or if you get called out like on a on a call that takes you away from your normal your normal dinner or lunch times. It is almost nine o'clock. I have got to go to bed because I have to get up at 445. So this is like the thing, right? This is like the schedule. Is by the time you get up work, you eat, you roll through the stuff you gotta do, and then you go to bed because you gotta get up and do it all again the next day. Not a whole lot of stuff to do here, guys. I mean, you're here to work, and that's kind of all you're here for. A lot of these camps will have some recreational stuff. You'll have, like this one has some pool tables. It's uh, like a ping pong table, I noticed. Uh, there's a gym, actually a fairly decent gym um, that you could do, which I'd highly recommend, especially if you eat a lot of the food here because it's just free. It's all over the place. There's a lot of food here, so going to the gym would probably be a plus. Just try to burn off some calories if, you, if you're uh, having energy at the end of the day. Some of the camps uh, out in the oil fields, uh, they'll have like maybe even a movie theater I think I've seen before, but for the most part, that's your recreation is almost non-existent. Um, by the way, AT&T phones do work well here, in case you do have an AT&T phone. I haven't tested any other ones, but AT&T works pretty well. Interesting is a lot of people that work here um, not only don't live in the state, they like live in a different state or sometimes even another country, and they'll come here for the rotations and work. And my experience working here is would probably be similar to maybe like working on a large boat. You know, maybe you're in the Navy or uh, like a cruise ship or something where it when you're here you're here to work here it's almost like you're checking out of your life for a little bit and there can you know there could be some some struggles i mean if you could imagine like you saw me saying goodbye to the kids this morning if you could imagine that happening like every two to three weeks your kids are saying goodbye to you while mom or dad has to go up north and go work to be able to do a stint but um, the reason why people do this is obviously the money even entry-level jobs here guys I don't know the exact numbers, but the rumors that I've heard even for entry-level jobs are somewhere around two thousand dollars a week You have skilled labor jobs. You can have three thousand dollars a week or more So you come here to make money is what you do and sometimes you just got to do what you got to do But welcome to Prudhoe Bay. All right guys. I'm probably gonna call this one a night Like I said, I've got to get up super early um, get some stuff done. There's only one store here, by the way. Let me know if you'd like to go see that store. I could go show you maybe what they have um, for sale and maybe like what they charge. I've never actually been to the store here, but I might go do that if you guys are interested. But with that, I'm going to probably send you back home to North Pole, Alaska and have the kids uh, wrap this one up. And again, thank you guys so much for being here and being a part. If you have experience working in remote places like this, I'll leave a comment down below, maybe any suggestions you might have. Or if you worked in Prudhoe Bay, maybe there's some things you recommend that could maybe be helpful to some of the people watching that might be thinking about taking a job up here. So, all right, send you guys back to North Pole. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin yeah. around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself, and I see you shining wow. every yeah. color, you resting your head in my arms. <laughs> All right, you guys, it is extremely late. I have so many deadlines, so many different things that are just like this in my brain. I'm around like a crazy person, <laughs> but super fun day today. It was awesome being able to watch Evelyn. Um, try out for her pre-team, so we should be able to hear tomorrow if she made that or not. Um, being able to get her her new bar, I think they, the kids, her and Garrett and Audrey, were all playing up on it for a long time, having a blast on it, so I think that was a good investment. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming along with us today. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with Bert in Dead Horse, Alaska, and what all that was. I have no idea. I don't even have the footage. <laughs> Continue to work on a few more things here wrap everything up, kids are already in bed, and uh, call it a night. I don't know about you, but do you sleep well when your significant other is gone? I do not. I think I will be up for a while. 
and I have so much to do and I have to get up so early. Um, I'm actually, I'll fill you in, this coming weekend, so uh, let's see, when you're watching this, this will probably be Friday. I'll be in Anchorage on Sunday and running a half marathon. Very excited. Um, I got a little bit off my training schedule uh, when my family was all here, so that kind of set me back just a little bit, but I feel... I feel okay. I feel like I can complete it. So me and some girlfriends are going to go down to Anchorage, make a trip of it, go run a half marathon, maybe hit the um, Palmer Fair, which should be fun. So I'll bring you guys along for that whole shindig. Should be a good time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.